Good morning students. Welcome back to Max Online class. In the previous class, you have learned rationalization of thirds. Today also I am going to continue rationalization of thirds. In the previous class, I have given two problems as homework. Have you all completed? Students, take your homework note and check the answers. Exercise 2.7, first question. Rationalize the denominator. The second part, 5 by 3 root 5, fourth one, 3 root 5 by root 6. First, second one. What is the rationalizing factor of 3 root 5? Ah, yeah, root 5. Not 3 root 5, only root 5. So, rationalizing factor of 3 root 5 is root 5. We have to multiply with this root 5, the numerator and denominator. So, we are getting 5 by 3 root 5 is equal to 5 by 3 root 5 into root 5 into root 5. So, the numerator is getting 5 root 5. The denominator is getting 3 into 3 into root 5 into root 5, 5 is equal to root 5 by 3. Next, fourth one. We have to rationalize the denominator of 3 root 5 by root 6. What is the rationalizing factor of root 6? Rationalizing factor of root 6 is root 6. We have to multiply the root 6 rationalizing factor in the numerator and denominator. So we are getting 3 root 5 into root 6 by root 6 into root 6. It is equal to 3 into root 5 into 6 by root 6 the whole square. It is equal to 3 root 30 by 6. Now I am going to explain exercise 2.7 second problem. Rationalize the denominator and simplify the third one 2 root 6 minus root 5 divided by 3 root 5 minus 2 root 6. Already the first problem I have completed. Second problem I want to do as homework. 2 root 6 minus root 5 by 3 root 5 minus 2 root 6. What's the, now what's the denominator? Denominator is 3 root 5 minus 2 root 6. We have to find out the conjugate or rationalizing factor of 3 root 5 minus 2 root 6. Conjugate of Three root five minus two root six is what is the conjugate? Through three root five plus two root six. What's the conjugate? Three root five plus two root six. So two root six minus root five by three root five minus two root six is equal to. We have to multiply the conjugate in the numerator and denominator. So what we are getting? 2 root 6 minus root 5 divided by 3 root 5 minus 2 root 6. Here also we have to multiply 3 root 5 plus 2 root 6. Numerator also we have to multiply 3 root 5 plus 2 root 6. So what we are getting in the denominator? What we are getting in the denominator? 3 root 5 the whole square. It is in the form of a square a minus b into a plus b. It is a. This one b. Here also it is a. Here b. So what it is in the form of a minus b into a plus b. So 3 root 5 the whole square minus 2 root 6 the whole square. 2 root 6 the whole square. What we are getting in the numerator? Numerator, we have to multiply with this 2 root 6, this 2 times also. So, what we are getting? 2 root 6 into 3 root 5. Next, 2 root 6 into 2 root 6. 2 root 6 into 2 root 6 means 2 root 6 the whole square. We can write 2 root 6 the whole square. Next, Minus root 5 into, with this minus root 5, we have to multiply this two terms also. So, minus root 5 into 3 root 5. Next, plus, minus into plus, minus root 5 into 2 root 6. Two 
to root 6. So, what we are getting in the denominator? Say the denominator. We can write 3 square into root 5, the whole square. Minus here, what we are getting? 2 square into root 6, the whole square. Next, what we are getting in the numerator? Numerator, say the numerator. 2, 3, so 6. Coefficient, we have to multiply separately. 2, 3, so 6. This one, root 6 into root 5. Root 6 into root 5 means root 6 into 5. Next, plus 2 root 6 the whole square means 2 square into root 6 the whole square. Next here, minus 1 into 3. Coefficient 1 into 3, 3. Root 5 into root 5, root 5 the whole square. Minus, next 1 into 2, 2. Root 5 into root 6. Root 5 into 6. So, what we are getting in the denominator? 9 into 5. Minus 4 into 6. 9 into 5 minus 4 into 6. What we are getting in the numerator? 6 root 30. 2 square means plus 4 into root 6 the whole square. 6. 4 into 6 minus 3 into root 5 the whole square means 5. Next, minus 2 root 30. 2 root 30. So, it's equal to 9 5 is 45 minus 4 6 is 24. Next, 6 root 30. Plus 4, 6 are 24 minus 15. Next 5, 3 is 15 minus 2 root 30. Here what we have to do? What we have to do? We have to add the, take the, which part? Rational, rational is part, rational number. Together we can add. Next, which one? Irrational part together we can add. So what we are getting? 24 minus 15 means 24 minus 15. It's equal to 9. So 24 minus 15 means 9. Next. Roots 6 root 30 minus 2 root 30 means 2, 6 root 30 minus 2 root 30 means what we are getting? 4 root 30. Only we have to subtract the coefficient. So, 6 minus 2 means 4 root 30. Divided by 45 minus 24 means... Forty five minus twenty four one next uh, four minus two means twenty. This is the answer nine plus four root thirty by twenty one. The question is rationalize the denominator and simplify two root six minus root five by three root five minus two root six. First we have to find out the conjugate of the denominator. Conjugate of 3 root 5 minus 2 root 6 is 3 root 5 plus 2 root 6. We have to multiply the numerator and denominator with this conjugate. So, numerator and denominator we have to multiply with this. 3 root 5 plus 2 root 6, 3 root 5 plus 2 root 6. So, we are getting 2 root 6 into 3 root 5. Next, plus 2 2 to some 4 root 6 the whole square. 2, 2, 2 into root 6 the whole square. Minus root 5 with multiplying time. Minus root 5 into 3 root 5. Minus into plus minus root 5 into 2 root 6. What, is, what we are getting in the denominator? 3 root 5 the whole square minus 2 root 6 the whole square. Next step. Here this one. A B the whole power M means A power M into B power M. So we can write 3 square into root 5 the whole square. Here this we can write 2 square into root 6 the whole square. 
So we are getting 9 into 5 minus 4 into 6. Here the numerator is 6 into root 3 to 2 3 is 6. Root 6 into root 5 root 30. Next 2 root 6 the whole square means 2 square into root 6 the whole square. Next minus 1 into 3 means 3. Root 5 into root 5 root 5 the whole square. Next here coefficient 1 into 2 2. Root 5 into root 6 means root 5 into 6. It's equal to 6 root 30. 2 square means 4 into 6. Next minus 3 into root 5 the whole square is equal to 5. Minus 2 into root 5 into root, root 5 into 6 root 30. Divided by 9 into 5 minus 4 into 6. It's equal to 9 5 sub 45 minus 24. Div uh, numerator what we are getting 6 root 30. 6 4 sub 24. 5 3 sub 15 minus 2 root 30. Here we have to add the rational uh, term together. Irrational term together. So 24 minus 15 is equal to 9. 24, 24 minus 15 is equal to 9. Next 6 root 30 minus 4, 2 root 30 is equal to 6 minus 2. 4 root 30. De next denominator 45 minus 24, 21. This is the answer. 9 plus 4 root 30 by 21 is the answer. Next, fourth question. Root 5 by root 6 plus 2 minus root 5 by root 6 minus 2. Here, the two method we can do. First method, we can find out the conjugate in the numerator and, multi and denominator and multiply. We have to multiply the conjugate with the numerator and denominator. Here also we have to multiply the conjugate in the numerator and denominator. Second method, we have to find out the LCM. LCM when we are finding, what we are getting, when we are finding the LCM, root 6 plus 2 into root 6 minus 2. No common factors means we have to multiply. Is it? How we will be do 4 by 3 minus 1 by 2. How will you do? We will be do that 3 into 2. Next numerator what will be do? 4 into 2. 4 into 2 minus 1 into 3. Same method only I am doing this also. Here the denominator multiply in time. Root 6 plus 2 into root 6 minus 2. Numerator what we are getting? Root 5 into root 6 minus 2. Next minus root 5 into root 6 plus 2. Is it correct? Okay. You multiply the denominator together. Next numerator root 5 into root 6 minus 2. Root 5 into minus root 5 into root 6 plus 2. Is it correct? Okay. Now we are getting what we are getting in the denominator. Root 6 the whole square minus 2 square. Root 6 the whole square minus 2 square. Numerator root 5 into root 6 minus 2 root 5. Next Minus root 5 into root 6. Minus into plus. Minus 2 root 5. Now here you see that. Here also root 5 into root 6. Here minus root 5 into root 6. When we are cancelling. What we are getting in the numerator. Minus 2 root 5. Minus 2 root 5. When we are adding what we are getting, minus 2 plus minus 2 means minus 4. Minus 4 root 5 by root 6 the whole square means 6. Root 6 the whole square means 6. Minus 2 square is equal to 4. So it's equal to minus 4 root 5 by 6 minus 4 is 2. When we are cancelling. Minus 2 root 5 is the answer. Minus 2 root 5 is the 
answer. Okay. Can you able to understand this? What we have to do? Root 5 by root 6 plus 2 minus root 5 by root 6 minus 2. First we have to find out the LCM of this 2. So what we are getting root 6 plus 2 into root 6 minus 2. Here numerator what we can do? Root 5 into root 6 minus 2. Here minus of root 5 into root 6 plus 2. Numerator when we are multiplying root 5 into root 6 minus 2 root 5. My, next here also minus root 5 into root 6 minus into plus minus 2 root 5. Denominator root 6 the whole square minus 2 square. It's equal to here this two terms we can cancel plus minus. So we can cancel. This we cannot cancel. Why? Both also minus. Both also different symbol means only we can cancel. So here minus 2 root 5 minus 2 root 5. Minus 2 plus minus 2 is equal to minus 4 root 5 divided by 6 minus 2 square is 4. So it's equal to minus 4 root 5 by 2. We can cancel this. So minus 2 root 5 is the answer. Now I am going to explain the third problem. Find the value of A and B if root 7 minus 2 by root 7 plus 2 is equal to A root 7 plus B. What's the conjugate of root A plus B is equal to what's the conjugate of root A plus B? Is minus root A plus b. What is the conjugate of root a plus b? What is the conjugate of root a plus b? Minus root a plus b. Okay. Minus root a plus b. Irrational part we have to take here. Plus means here minus we have to take. So root 7 minus 2 by root 7 plus 2. Here what is the conjugate of root 7 plus 2? Minus root 7 plus 2. What is the conjugate of root 7 plus 2? Minus root 7 plus 2. For, so when we are multiplying root 7 minus 2. Here what we have to multiply? Minus root 7 plus 2. Here also we have to multiply. Minus root 7 plus 2 minus root 7 plus 2 so we can write the denominator listen carefully this I am writing this one we can write 2 plus root 7 real part when that rational part first I am writing so 2 plus root 7 into this we can write 2 minus root 7 Okay, minus root 7 plus 2, we can write 2 minus root 7. Numerator, the same I am writing, we can multiply. Root 7 into minus root 7 means minus root 7 the whole square. This 2 when we are multiplying, plus 2 root 7. Next, minus into minus, plus 2 root 7. 2 with multiplying time. Minus into plus. Minus 2 to some 4. Minus into minus. Minus into plus. Minus 2. Minus into plus. Minus 2 to some 4. We are getting 2 to some 4. So. What we are getting in the denominator. Say that what we are getting in the denominator. Denominator 2 square. It is in the form of a plus b into a minus b. So we can write 2 square minus root 7 the whole square. Is it correct? 2 square minus root 7 the whole square. Numerator what we are getting? Root 7. Here the square and square it will be cancelled. So minus 7. Next here, plus 2 root 7, plus 2 root 7 means 4 root 7. 
Next, minus 4. Is it correct? Okay, 2 root 7 plus 2 root 7 means coefficient only we have to add. So, 2 plus 2, 4 root 7. Next, minus 4. So, we are, what we are getting? So, what we are getting? Denominator. 2 square, 4. Next, root 7 the whole square means 7. Here, numerator, what we are getting? Minus 4. Minus 7, minus 4. Minus 11 plus 4 root 7. So, it's equal to 4 minus 7 means 3 minus 3. Minus 11 plus 4 root 7. When we are taking this minus commonly outside, so what we are getting? Minus of 11 this real this one positive will be changed as negative will be changed as positive when we are taking minus commonly outside negative will be changed as positive positive will be changed as negative so minus 4 root 7 divided by minus 3 it will be cancelled so this one we can write 11 by 3 minus 4 minus 4 by 3 root 7. This we can write. 4 by 3 minus. 11 by 3 minus. 4 by 3 root 7. What is the question? Read the question carefully. Root 7 minus 2 by root 7 plus 2 is equal to. A root 7 plus B. We have to find out the value of. A and B. Now I am writing. So, therefore, what we are getting? A root 7 plus B is equal to A root 7 plus B is equal to 11 by 3 minus 4 by 3. Root 7. Okay. This A root 7 plus B is equal to We, are, we can write 11 by 3 minus 4 by 3 root 7. Can you able to understand this? Okay. A root 7 plus B is equal to 11 by 3 minus 4 by 3 root 7. Here we have to equate rational part and irrational part. This is rational part. This to irrational part. When we are equating rational and irrational part, what we are getting? Equating rational and irrational part. B is equal to 11 by 3. A is equal to minus 4 by 3. A is equal to minus 4 by 3. B is equal to 11 by 3. Can you able to understand? First... Find the value of A and B. If root 7 my, minus 2 by root 7 plus 2 is equal to A root 7 plus B. Now, what's the conjugate of root A plus B means? Conjugate of root A plus B is minus root A plus B. Minus root A plus B. So, what's the conjugate of root 7 plus 2? Minus root 7 plus 2. With minus root 7 plus 2, we have to multiply the numerator and denominator. The denominator we can write 2 plus root 7. Two, root 7 plus 2 we can write 2 plus root 7. This root minus root 7 plus 2 we can write it 2 minus root 7. Numerator directly I am multiplying. Root 7 into minus root 7 means plus into minus minus root 7 the whole square. Next, 2 root 7 into 2 means 2 root 7. Next, minus into minus plus 2 root 7. Minus into plus minus 2 to some 4. So, we are getting minus root 7 the whole square means minus root 7 the whole square. 7 minus 7. Next, 2 root 7 plus 2 root 7. 2 root 7 plus 2 root 7. 4 root 7. 
Next, minus 4. So, we are getting denominator what we are getting? 2 square minus root 7 the whole square. So, minus 7 minus 4 means minus 11 plus 4 root 7 by 2 square 4 minus 7. So, it is equal to minus 11 plus 4 root 7 by minus 3. Here, if you are taking the minus commonly outside, so, minus taking commonly outside means negative will be changes positive. Positive will be changes negative. So, 11 minus 4 root 7 by minus 3. So, it is equal to 11 by 3 minus 4 by 3 root 7. Therefore, equating real and imaginary part, a is equal to minus 4 by 3, b is equal to 11 by 3. Next, fourth question. If x is equal to root 5 plus 2, then find the value of x square plus 1 by x square. What is given? x is equal to root 5 plus root 5 plus 2. So, x is equal to root 5 plus 2. We have to find out x square plus 1 by x square. First, we have to find out x square. Is equal to what is x square root 5 plus 2 the whole square. What's the expansion of a plus b the whole square? a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. When we are using that, we are getting root 5 the whole square plus 2 into root 5 into 2. Root 5 the whole square plus 2 into 2 into AB. Root 5 into 2 plus 2 square. B square is equal to 2 square. So we are getting root 5 the whole square means 5. Next plus 2 to the 4 root 5. 2 square 4. It is equal to 5 plus 4 9 plus 4 root 5. 9 plus 4 root 5. We have we have find out x square. Next 1 by x square. We have to find out 1 by x square. 1 by x square means 1 by 9 plus 4 root 5. What is the conjugate of 9 plus 4 root 5? Yeah, 9 minus 4 root 5. We have to multiply the numerator and denominator. So what we are getting? See the denominator. Denominator what we are getting? 9 plus 4 root 5 into 9 minus 4 root 5. A plus B into A minus B is equal to A square. 9 square minus 4 root 5 the whole square. Here the denominator 1 into 9 minus 4 root 5. 9 minus 4 root 5. It is equal to... It's equal to 9 square means 81. Minus this we can write 4 square into root 5 the whole square. 4 square into root 5 the whole square. Numerator is 9 minus 4 root 5. So it is equal to 9 minus 4 root 5 by 81. Root 5 the whole square means 5. 16 into 5. So it is equal to, it's equal to 9 minus 4 root 5 by 81 minus 80. 16 into 5 means 80. It is equal to 9 minus 4 root 5 by 1 is equal to 9 minus 4 root 5. What we are getting 9 minus 4 root. Now we got it. x square is equal to 9 plus 4 root 5. 1 by x square is equal to 9 minus 4 root 5. We have to add this to what we have to find out x square plus 1 by x square. So, x square plus 1 by x square is equal to, x square plus 1 by x square is equal to, what is that x square? 9 plus 4 root 5. What is 1 by x square? 9 minus 4 root 5. So, we can cancel plus 4 root 5 minus 4 root 5. 9 plus 9, 
18. What is the answer? X square plus 1 by X square is equal to 18 is the answer. Once again, X is, X is equal to root 5 plus 2. Find the value of X square plus 1 by X square. First, X is equal to root 5 plus 2. First, we, find, we have to find out x square so root 5 plus 2 the whole square is equal to root 5 the whole square plus 2 into root 5 into 2 plus 2 square root 5 the whole square means 5 2 to some 4 root 5 2 square is equal to 4 it's equal to 9 plus 4 root 5 next we have to find out 1 by x square we need to find out x square plus 1 by x square 1 by x square is equal to 1 by 9 plus 4 root 5 What's the conjugate of 9 plus 4 root 5? 9 minus 4 root 5. Then we have to multiply the numerator and denominator. We have to rationalize the denominator. So we are multiplying 9 minus 4 root 5 in the numerator and denominator. So the numerator is getting 1 into 9 minus 4 root 5 means 9 minus 4 root 5. Denominator is 9 square minus 4 root 5 the whole square. It's equal to 9 minus 4 root 5 by 9 square. Here 4 square into root 5 the whole square. It's equal to 9 minus 4 root 5. 9 square is 81. 9 square is 81. This one 4 square 16 into 5 square is, root 5 the whole square is 5. It's equal to 9 minus 4 root 5 by 81 minus 80. It's equal to 9 minus 4 root 5 by 1 is equal to 9 minus 9 minus 4 root 5. Now we got it x square and 1 by x square value. We have to add this. x square plus 1 by x square is equal to 9 plus 4 root 5 plus 9 minus 4 root 5. Is equal to 18 is the answer. Now I am giving one problem as homework. Exercise 2.7. Second one, second problem. Second problem. Okay, exercise 2.7, second one, second problem. Rationalize the denominator and simplify. Find out the conjugate of root 3 plus root 2 and multiply the numerator and denominator and find out the answer. Okay. Thank you students.